Beloved, let us be aware of what is happening in the religious world, not only here in the United States, but all over the world. I would like to point your attention to the writings of Ellen G. White, the messenger of God, who truthfully foretold in the book, The Great Controversy, page 322. In this paragraph, the second paragraph, she, she wrote here, in the movements now in progress in the United States to secure for the institutions and usages of the church the support of the state. Protestants are now are following in the steps of Papist or those who follow the Roman Catholic Church. Nay, more than they are opening of the door for the papacy to regain in Protestant America the supremacy which she has lost in the old world. And that which gives greater significance to this movement is the fact that the principal object contemplated is the enforcement of Sunday of servants, a custom which originated with Rome and which she claims as the sign of her authority. Dearly beloved, as we watch the unfolding of the prophecy, we could not but help praise the Lord and look up for our salvation is indeed drawing nigh. The Roman Catholic Church together with the Protestants who are reaching out to the Roman Pope, the popular Pope Francis, are now laying and are on the process of putting together this family day of worship which is Sunday and this is in contrary to what the Bible is saying because the Bible is teaching us about the seventh day Sabbath so friends we who are the minority and who believe in the Bible truth will indeed be uh, the subject of uh, wrath and uh, derision and ridicule and eventually will be rejected by society. But let us not be afraid, for our salvation is very, very near. I'm looking forward, friends. I'm getting myself ready as well. May you be ready, because if we are not founded in the Bible truth, we will be deceived by this great power who is deluding the world with false teaching and with false charity and with false humility and false worship. May we ever be true and faithful to the Word of God, the Bible, for this is our only security in this time of the end. May God continue to bless you.